Welcome to the Tippy Toe Podcast. We got a special guest this afternoon. Who my guest is, my dog? It's your big homeboy boy, Frank Lenny, you understand me? Motherfucking Lenny boy in the motherfucking building. What it do, my dog? What's up, baby? How the drive was coming down here, my dog? No, it was easy. Okay, then. Let us know, dog. We're going to take it back because they've been saying I got to bring you on here, bring the legends. So we want to take it on bite, dog. Let's take it bite, then. How did it start, though, dog? Shit, man. It started fucking in middle school <laughs> in the cafeteria on the bus classroom mm-hmm. you know i was just fucking off with it you know what i'm saying when i was younger and then um you know a couple of my dogs told me to uh, start taking it a little more serious started taking it a little serious and came out of shell but who was but who was doing music that you that you, before you even started doing that make you want to get into it uh Florida niggas I looked up to coming up, you know, it was more niggas like JT Money, mm-hmm. Trick Daddy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was a big Poison Clan fan. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to JT. You know what I'm saying? He don't get his just do a lot. Shout out to Trick. You know what I'm saying? The boy paid away. Mm-hmm. So, nah, so, you know, at that time, it was not easy to get to no music. So, how did y'all record stuff? Like, like what age did you start, you know, digging that in with it? See, I started though on some DJ shit. You know what I'm saying? I I, I wanted to be Slick Vic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was on some, some real jam pony shit. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, so you know, nigga was in the room. You know what I'm saying? Making tape pony and shit. Mm-hmm. And that's how I started with me. You know what I'm saying? Also, you wanted to be a DJ first. <laughs> yeah, boy, I was real big on that Slick Vic. So you a mic check or something? Definitely. Okay then. You remember your first song you might check? Ah, uh, nah, I don't remember the first one. Mm-hmm. I don't remember the first one. So, so nah, so like you said, you the fan of JT Tricks. So let, let us know how. So how we started getting to it? Oh, into to the music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just was. You know what I'm saying? I used to do the shit. You know what I mean? Just kick the bullshit. You know what I mean? High school or whatever. And then when I got out of school or whatever, my cousin. You know what I'm saying? Shot them cousin ball head, you know what I'm saying? He ain't doing the elbow. He brought it to me with this rap shit, you know what I'm saying? And Cub was flowing this shit and I was like, damn. So we used to just uh freestyle, freestyle over instrumentals and shit. And then uh, after a while, you know, after freestyling you doing it so for so long, you start saying the same shit over and over. So it was like, damn, let me sit down and start writing some of this shit. So I started writing hooks, and then we freestyle the verses. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that, that came from that. Okay, then. So, so freestyle, back to back, then you started doing let me start writing. So, well, you still like, how was the upbringing was at that time still, too? Yeah, you know, upbringing, you know, I was a, grow up in a single, single uh, mother home, you know what I'm saying? I knew my daddy my whole life, but, you know, he wasn't. Yeah, there, you feel me? But um, nigga had a lot of free time. Cause my mama used to work and go to school a lot. Mm-hmm. So, you know, nigga got out, started venture night, you know what I'm saying? Just some shit, you know, being around, you know what I'm saying? My older cousin, who I watched, um, watched him kill himself when I was like 13. You watched your older cousin kill himself? Yeah, he shot himself. Damn, how that was? It was fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Like, when the shit first happened, because, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of my family members, you know what I'm saying? They didn't want to accept it for what it was. But, you know, and it, 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 it fucked me up a little bit. Because, oh, you seen that with your own eyes, Lenny Boy? Yeah. Damn. So, you know, it fucked me up a little bit because my cousin, I really looked up to him, you know what I'm saying? I just watch him blow his head off, like, in front of you. Like, that's so yeah, that's not no up. regular. That's not no regular stuff, right there. Yeah, no. Nah. How did you handle that? Did you have to go get counseling or anything or get taught? No, nah, black people don't get counseling. Okay, bro. we know. just mm-hmm. deal with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The best way we can. We go on in life, and how we get through it, we get through it. And how, and how old you was at that time? I was 13, about to turn 14. Damn. See, your own cousin did that shit. Yeah. Was there no rapping yet? No music yet, though. Music? Nah. Mm-hmm. So, so let us know, God damn. So what's next after just seeing something like that? After that, you know, just dealt with a bunch of 
being being to myself, you know what I'm saying? Hard to put your trust in, you know what I'm saying? Bond with people because you know what I'm saying. Me and my cousin were real close, so it was like it was like hard for me to fall. You know what I'm saying? In, in with somebody, and then you know I ain't gonna have no big brothers and nothing like that. Excuse me, my big brother was in prison. Mm -hmm. So, and for the people that don't know, Lenny, where is you from, my dog? Fort Myers, Florida, mm -hmm. Little Pakistan. Little Pakistan. And when did did y'all did, did you create that name? Well, that's been around while you was growing up too. Now I came around like right when we started doing this music shit, around the time when um, me and Plies hit with the music. You know what I'm saying? They started calling the crib Pakistan. Mm -hmm. So now, so now, like, so let, let bring us down. When was your first time? You know, dealing with the music, probably recording. How you know your first time? First time, um, I was dealing with uh, this local little. Uh, um, Record label around the crib. So people like so people just uh, see your talent on crib. So you ain't deal with the homemade studios first, or you just went straight to? Nah, nah, nah. It was a, it was a homemade studio. You know what I'm saying? It was niggas trying around the crib. You know what I'm saying? They had a little vision, mm -hmm. trying to you know what I'm saying make it move or whatever. Niggas had a little equipment or whatever. Was that niggas come through, record or whatever? You know what I'm saying? But it, you know it didn't pan out. A lot of those cats kind of got frustrated and. You know what I'm saying? Said fuck it, and nigga like me just kept kept it moving. Okay, okay, okay. So that was your first piece of it. What happened? That was your first piece of the little studio. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So like, when did like it started getting kind of serious though? Like, um, it really ain't get serious. Like, till I I dropped three mixtapes. What was the first mixtape? What in it? um, excuse me, in oh five. Mm -hmm. I dropped three mixtapes. I dropped. Um, put up a shut up mixtape was in May of 05. Uh, July 7th on my birthday, I dropped the put up a shut up uh album. Then on Thanksgiving, I dropped the um him album, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then I went to jail after that, so I still wasn't taking it serious. I was doing it, I was buzzing, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't take it serious until I got fucked up. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Why did you go to jail for it, if you don't mind us asking? Um, <laughs> I went you know, to jail. Back now. Yeah, back. yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to jail for attempted murder on the officer. Lenny boy. Trafficking. I had four gun charges. I had a fleeing and loom. And I had like 14 charges. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had half a million dollar bond. So like, yeah. I'm trying to figure out was it like before or after? Cause it was like it was like you was already buzzing up. Was you buzzing up? Yeah, I was buzzing before that, but I didn't take the music serious. It was, was just rumor. something I knew how to do. Cause those rumors, guy in Fort Myers got caught with bombs and all. Yeah, that's the shit right there. I was going. I'm like, yeah. how did all that go? <laughs> There's a bomb threats and they was like, hey, nigga, I don't know no damn bombs and that. I, like, but I got a bomb charge. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, you know what I'm saying? I caught 14 felonies. Damn, at one time. One night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and then. City, basically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, damn. Now I'm stuck in this motherfucker. And now I'm looking at everything for what it really is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I am about 25. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Stuck on all these charges, racing the life sentence. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, baby mama pregnant with my son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I already got three other kids. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? You go to sitting and win, you know what I'm saying? Really, really, really life paying, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, damn, what you really want to do? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and that's when I really sat down and said, all right, let me, I'm going to get, you know what I'm saying? Talk to God and look, man. Get me out of this situation. I'm gonna really go all in with this shit. While you was in there, right? Okay, yeah, and he blessed the nigga get out of that situation. I jumped out and I took this shit for what it was. You know what I'm saying? That's when I dropped all in. Like the the, the, the album or the song? Huh? You talking about the album or the song? The album. Mm -hmm. and, and and that's no. You feel me? Like, what was your first song? Like, especially like your first day home. Like, how it was. Uh, first my first day home, I was in the studio. Mm -hmm. oh, you remember what first song you dropped? Uh, ain't friendly. Man, okay, so let's talk about. <laughs> it. I ain't friendly. How you came on that bitch like that? Um, it was 
Cause niggas Who made the beat first of all? Um, Nacho Chill Trap mm -hmm. Well I had the, the skeleton of the beat From me beating In jail You so know what I'm saying Yeah that. But You know what I'm saying The song was inspired by Me being in jail And Niggas You know what I'm saying They embracing me for You know This Frank Little shit Or whatever And it's like I don't know you niggas Like mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying So it's like Man I ain't friendly mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, oh, uh, everybody want to talk to me and, 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 and be friendly, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't friendly. And, and that's the vibe you get when you came home? <laughs> that's the vibe you got you when you came away without trying to be friendly? No, that was the vibe I had in jail. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it was like, that's where that old, that's, you know what I'm saying? That song was inspired from. Mm -mm -mm. So now, let us know. You drop it. How you laced it up, though, dog? Did you know it was going to hit like that? Nah. I ain't know it was gonna hit like that. Oh, did you release some singles or you wait? Like, no, I dropped. I dropped. Like I dropped the whole album when mm -hmm. I came home. Um, when I got out, like my homeboy that I was doing the music with, mm -hmm. he had the charges with me. He had them same charges, so he ended up. Um, I couldn't burn that because I already, I had a violation of probation, mm -hmm. so I had to take time on that and then sit down there on the other shit. Until, you know what I'm saying, I got a bond reduction and all that shit. And bond out. He ended up bonding out. So by the time I was able to bond out, he came back in on the murder charge. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now it's like, boom, now I'm out. Now he back in. And now I ain't got no, you know what I'm saying, no no real direction. Mm -hmm. So at the time, um, Ernest mm -hmm. Graham and my manager, Shannon Duck, like they stepped to me and was like, "Hey man, we got a deal. You know what I'm saying for you. Whatever you come fuck with us and they gonna push the music. Whatever, whatever." My dog had went to school with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? And Ernest had just got a deal with the Bucks or whatever. So he was like, "Man, fuck with them niggas, man. They good niggas. I don't know how long I'm gonna be down with this shit or whatever." So I was like, "All right." So I started fucking with them. So um. The them asked me how long, um, what I need to, you know what I'm saying, to get myself together and whatever, whatever. So, you know, throw a little ticket out there, you know what I'm saying? What nigga, so I could straight handle some little business or whatever. Then I uh, stayed at the temple for three weeks. I sat in the um, hotel room for three weeks. And all I did was leave from the studio, uh, from the hotel to the studio and drop music for three weeks straight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I go to the studio, they got producers there making beats. I get the beats, go back to the room, right? Next day, go back to the studio for three weeks and I drop it all in. So, so let's, <laughs> let's talk about the track, I'm All In. I'm about to place my last bet. That's on that too? Yeah. And let us know how you created that one, though, dog. I was placing my last bet. Who made that I, beat for that one? Same person? Nacho. Yeah, got that. So, how, <laughs> Nacho was everything. Yeah, Nacho was everything, man. How did y'all meet, though, dog, too? Nacho, I grew up with Nacho. That chemistry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is, Nacho was Mexican. He was Mexican. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was like the only Mexican. Like in the crew. In the hood. In the hood, baby. Yeah, I grew up, you know what I'm saying? In the, in the neighborhood, I grew up in Michigan Project. Mm -hmm. So, he was like, they was like the only Spanish family. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In, in, the, the, in the hood. Oh, it was tough for him, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so. So now, let's talk about it, dog. He, how, how you heard the beat? That, were you there when he laced you with the beat? Did he make the beat in front of you? Yeah, we made it together. Y'all made it together? Yeah, we just sitting there vibing, vibing. And so, so like, every beat he made for me. So basically, you already had a type of sample of the beat. In, I mean, like the, Yeah. Like, damn. So you might well say you're a producer, too. Yeah, I can hear the music. I just can't play it. Yeah. You, you know, know what I'm saying? So I can, I can hear it in my head. Like, you know what I'm saying? What I won't play, but I just can't. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never took it that far. Man, that's that real music, man. You know what I'm saying? But dude, dude, that dude, though, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now. Nah, and so, know. like, my first four, five mistakes, he made everything. <laughs> so what was going through your head when that beat got done, when y'all finished doing that? But you already had the song, you said. So that's no, no, that, 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 that all-in song? Yeah, well, not. No, I, that one I made when I got out. So let me know where, where, where in the mind stage you was at when you It got was out. viewing, you know what I'm saying, like, for what it was at the time, you know what I'm saying? It's like everything that I had came from up under. And it was like, you can't take these blessings for granted no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I told myself, like I was, if I come from up under this, I'm going all in. I ain't doing nothing enough but music. You know what I'm saying? That's what I did. Then so to, like, like it sounds like you felt like you say, they forgot about Lenny on that song, though. 
Anybody felt like it was over if you were saying. Yeah, because I was, shit, 30 days, nigga, to my, I was gone for 30 years. So in 30 days, it was? 30 days. They was already spraying my I ain't had been to the arraignment yet. And what, that's what you was hearing from the streets? You know what I'm saying? Hearing from the streets. Oh, he gone. He gone. He out of here. Damn it, gone. <laughs> so let me know so, um, how, like, how it was when all that shit was like, mixtape done. How did y'all do the promotion, though? Oh, um, it was old school then, you know what I'm saying? Because this was like 07. So the only social media was out was MySpace, mm -hmm. which came out around the time when I right had went in. Mm -hmm. And that was the only only uh, social media um, platform. So niggas used to get out to get on the street, city to city, hand in hand with the city. Were well, you shocked though, though, how the streets took over? To your music though, dog, gravitate to your your like a style, sort of style and shit. Nah, I went shot because you know what I'm saying. People gravitate to real shit, and you know they don't went fabricating it. Mm -hmm. I was just getting to them out of here. You know what I'm saying. A lot of the niggas be scared to talk about shit that go on in their life. Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas scared to tell about the struggles in their life. Every, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas just want to talk about, oh, when they just doing good. What about when you was doing bad? Niggas don't be wanting a nigga to know that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's more people doing bad than good. And let it go. But what is it in your career that had you kept going to jail while you driving them hits, though, dog? They see, like, jail played a big part of your career, too, though, dog. <laughs> Not trying to. I'm just nah, kidding. nah. Like, actually, after. I got fucked up that major time. Mm -hmm. I only went to jail like one time after, after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, like, okay. I ended up getting um, probation, mm -hmm. and then I violated that shit with 13 new charges. <laughs> <laughs> so it was how like, you how you catch them alone like that? You don't catch your one charge. <laughs> My dog get them right. Nah, it was two different cities though. You know what I'm saying? It was same charges here. Six charges there, and you know what I'm saying, shit like that. But all those charges got dropped. Mm, okay, then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, thank God I ain't never been to prison. That's good, that's good, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you know, if a nigga check my jacket, it'd be like, ain't no way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So a nigga definitely blessed. You feel me? And I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying, take it for granted. Ever, you know, <laughs> know what I'm saying? So, but what, what what you say to the people that say, dog, like when your lyrics like sound like come out the Bible, like a ghetto Bible or something, dog? I just come from the heart, bro. And then, then you know what I'm saying? And, you know, pretty bright. You know what I'm saying? Like like I don't, you know, I wasn't bad in school or nothing like that. Right there, I just didn't like going. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was definitely on point. And you know what I'm saying? So. The way a nigga articulate the words and how a nigga, you know, put it out to the people, you know, I try to be on point with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, every day we learn it. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? I want to show the growth through the music, too. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want my, uh, me, you know what I'm saying, my, my fan base to outgrow me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I want to show growth with them. And, and what about um that Ross? Feature man, let's know Fred, Rick Ross, Rich and Lenny Boy. Okay, the whole uh, Rick Ross thing. I was in jail when Ross reached out to my manager when I was in. You know what I'm saying? It was like he wanted to fuck with me. So when I got out, you know what I'm saying? We um he had a party and um day um at Crew and Why, where he had an all white party on the yacht after party at Crew and Why. You know what I'm saying? So, um, went down there, chopped it up with him, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, and he wanted to uh, do some music or whatever. So just uh, that night, shit didn't um, pan out. We ended up having to get back up because um, something happened with um, Gunplay that night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they had got a tour or some shit. So when we had to reroute, it was Super Bowl in Tampa when it was like, 2009, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 2009. 
So uh, we was in Tampa, and we were supposed to hook up, and we ended up at two different clubs. Mm -hmm. So, boom, we missed that night, too. So then he was like, look, man, I'm going to be in Atlanta for a week. And he was doing a deep in the rap um, album. He was like, look, I'm going to be at my house. You know what I'm saying? Look, you can come up. Boom, come up, and let's, you know what I'm saying, fuck off. So, boom, we shot up there, and I spent the whole weekend with the nigga. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I'm saying, actually, we dropped three songs. You know what I'm saying? Dropped we dropped three songs. Damn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The one he did for me, I never got to drop. Mm -hmm. Because the niggas broke in our car and stole my hard drive. No. <laughs> yeah. Where you was at that time? Uh, In Atlanta. Damn it, dog. Yeah. So I ain't never get to drop the one we did or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And we did the Thought in the Sky and then yeah, like that we did another one with, uh, this was the original Triple C. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Ross, Gunplay, and Torch. Mm -hmm. That was the original Triple C before Young Breed and before anybody else got there. So we dropped, we dropped those. Now, I know what people were speculating like, oh, what happened with the deal with you went Ross that never was no deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, that was what I thought. You know what I'm saying? It went never no deal, bro. Like, dog actually kept it real with me. He was like, after sitting down talking with a nigga or whatever, because at the time, I'm getting $5,000 a show. And you know what I'm saying? I'm getting 1,500 features. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing one, two shows a week. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, honestly, what I can do for you, Right now, you already doing for yourself. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he was like, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't even need for to make you, you know what I'm saying? Follow behind a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like, like you, you doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? But I, I fuck with you, and I want to do some music with you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And at that time, he was really still trying to be an artist yeah. versus uh, the boss, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like when so, he signed Nick Mills, basically. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So he didn't sign them niggas to like five years after that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even though, dog, you ain't really in the street like that, but were you shocked at how the industry niggas was messing with you, though, friendly? I don't know, bro. It was just, you know, I just go with the flow, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I ain't, this industry is just like the street mm -hmm. or anything else. You got to be cautious of who you deal with, bro. Like, so. You know, it's a couple of guys, you know what I'm saying, that I met along the way that niggas may say other shit about them, mm -hmm. but my experiences were different, so I can't vouch. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, you know, what happened, but who done met? And you can just say the solid one in the game. They ain't gotta say what y'all done did. Bro. Some people, you know, because you know, everybody know Lenny Boy. I fought with uh, Ball Greasy hard. Mm -hmm. I fought with Brother Long with, like, that my dude. Feel me? Like as my boy, brother. Like, and it been like that, not since you know what I'm saying. His newfound success, mm -hmm. it's been like this since he Don't years man. back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he's still that same dude to this day. If I call that nigga five o'clock in the morning, he gonna pick up. You know what I'm saying? And he always, you know what I'm saying, giving a nigga advice or you know what to do or whatever. It's like you know what I'm saying. He was at a point one time where he was buzzing, and then boom, went yeah. stale for a minute, mm -hmm. then figured it out and popped. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he's still that same dude. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts, facts. And don't focus on that. You know we right yeah. here. So, but Lenny, though, do you shot though like that? You got timeless music like, and no matter how many years, you just pop that bitch and just get right to it. Nah, just Damn. you know. When you get that real shit, you get that real shit, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is, bro. Like, real, you know what I'm saying? Real, real shit is timely. You know what I'm saying? It, all the real shit your mama told you when you was little, still stick with you today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but Lenny, are you shot though when niggas say they top five Florida rapper and you hear Lenny boy in there? Are you shot when you hear that? Because I know you hear it. Yeah, I'd have heard that it. That's why I'm saying, oh, you shot, because, you know, Lenny's in my, you feel me? Snap him. Yeah, I appreciate it. Snap him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I appreciate it. And, you know, like, 
people have their other their own opinions. Mm-hmm. So you know, like the younger coming up, they have their own opinion. You know what I'm saying? They may not have been on North Side Highway, but I don't. I don't look at it in a different manner. You know what I'm saying? I just take everything for what it is. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all the blessings. And you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I did what a lot of niggas wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? So it, with that, it's rich. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And what was um what was your relationship with JT Money though? JT? Yeah. Man, it's crazy, bro. Like with JT, cause like I was diehard Poison Clan fan. Mm-hmm. Bro, when Poison Clan hit what ninety, ninety one, I was like nine. It was going down. Nine, ten years old listening to this shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then to when I jumped off to have a nigga like JT come mm-hmm. get a feature for me. Yeah. Like nigga, that was like a highlight. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, here it is twenty five years later from a nigga I was listening to. Mm-hmm. Well, twenty years later from a nigga I was just to mm-hmm. at ten years old to come get a feature for me. How that felt though? How did that feel? Oh, that's a highlight, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn it, dog. That's a highlight, that Uncle Jake. And what about, did you get any trick daddy comparison though, though? Always. Yeah, what was, like, what was that about? The, how, how did you take a good, bad, big comparison? That's good, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause, trick that nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of niggas, you might not give them that just do like that, but. Yeah, but trick and Lenny, bro. You know what I'm saying, huh? Nah, you know, we tried it. Like I tried it, still want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Still want to do it. Like you know what I'm saying? Tried it. Would y'all just be on different things, on things? I don't, I don't know how it ain't happened yet, but I definitely that's one. That's, of, that's one on the bucket list. You know what I'm saying? That's on. That one on the bucket list, though. Okay then. You feel me? And I ain't gonna um, lie. You know what I'm saying, but um. Yeah, man. Um, trick. Well, I, I you know what I'm saying. It's only a couple more that I need on the button. Let me know who, who you got on your belt. Scarface. Okay, then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a nice one right there. Um, Damn. Plies, believe it or not. No, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Before, hold on. Hold on. We can't say plies yet. Plies. Fly. Before we mention fly, dog, how did it happen? Let me know, dog. The, 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 let's throw back. Like, what was the, 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 the thing with Plies and Friendly and Lenny with Plies back then? All right, look. Y'all know each other, two, three, nine. Let us know. Me and Plies was great. Like, that you know what I'm saying? Me and, me, yeah, me and Plies was great, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, me and Plies ended up falling on two different is a, you know what I'm saying, a affiliation. You know what I'm saying? Which kind of, you feel me? And what you mean, like different hands with different people? You're right. Okay, that's what caused Yeah, that's what kind of, you know what I'm saying, fucked that up, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause we, you know what I'm saying, I used to fuck with buddy, like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I mean, one party in his side, then see, I'd have with one party in my side, and then, you know, that's how that happened or whatever. But the thing with that is, you know what I'm saying, like, I just I just talked to him. You imply talk? For the first time. I forgot y'all know each other. I'm saying so like two fans. The first time in 15 years. Damn. Was last Christmas. <laughs> yeah, so we talked about, you know what I'm saying, doing something or whatever, whatever you know what I'm saying. Nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna say what's going on on this end because mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So hopefully, if he hit it, mm-hmm. you can clarify, it, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. but I don't been reaching. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Trying to see what you're talking about, and I know the city and the love, state would love that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, God, you damn, know, that would be a crazy ass motherfucking banger. So to let y'all know, it ain't Lenny. Yeah. Lenny is a willing participant. Okay then. You know what I'm saying? So. And how it feel though, Lenny though? They used to, you know, when they still call for buckets and stuff. Uh, how it feel though when they still call for bucket and verses and all that good stuff? And that's just a blessing, bro. Like, be doing this shit over time like this here. You know what I'm saying? And still able to, you know what I'm saying, 
make money out of this shit, bro. Like 15, 16 years in, bro. And I ain't I supported my family mm -hmm. off of, you know what I'm saying? Off the dream, off the off the gift. Like it's a blessing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And how it felt though to have the city, you know, your city embrace you though, dog. Cause now everybody can have their city behind them like that. My city love me to death, bro. I wouldn't be nothing without my city. Mm -hmm. I am Lee County in it. That's what I'm saying. You can't look past, you know what I'm saying, the city and not see Franklin in it. Nice. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how I feel because my city embraced me like that. They fucked me like that. And I love my city for that. And I scream my city on everything. Lee County. Nice. You know what I'm saying? What it was about Lee County, though, like, how it, it was. Just, it just, you know what I'm saying? Just being proud of where you're from, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I ain't ashamed for where I'm from. No, my city ain't big as other cities, mm -hmm. but my city like that. But let's take us like, you know, but let's take us like to the jitterbugs. How, how like, growing up, how was it, the, the drug area and all that? Like, did you see it? Yeah, yeah, that, it, our city was like that. Mm -hmm. So you it know was like yeah, that? Yeah, it was, it was like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, even though, you know, like I say, it ain't big as, you know, uh, Miami mm -hmm. or, you know what I'm saying, uh, Jacksonville, mm -hmm. but, but niggas did they dirt, you know what I'm saying? They 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 share, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Like niggas from Florida know that. You know what I'm saying? saying for being a small city, I come niggas from Florida know yeah, I'm born in Fort Myers, don't play boy. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas niggas hold theirs down. Mm -hmm. From the street to the chain game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So And, and what it is about um, what about um like the the Immokalees in the Naples, they always looked up and braced us for Myers. Yeah, they, 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 uh, Hamakalees and the neighbors, they both call you county, but it's all 239. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was saying area code, so you know what I'm saying, you know, we all, we all fall in. Mm -hmm. And then around that time, was it hard to even book you on that side? Because how lit you was? Was the promoters mad, like, with the numbers you were screaming? Because they think they nah. told you? Or they still was, uh. Nah, it, 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 it was banging, bro. Like, it was slamming. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still, it's still, it's still weighing like that. You know what I'm saying? It just um seasons, like you know what I'm saying? Just like I don't know certain parts of the year. Mm -hmm. That shit. They, they call it back. That shit calling. You know what I'm saying? What they about um? Do we ever have a blood roll in it? Yeah. Okay then. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood. Back. I fought with blood too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Blood was another one that um was reaching out to a nigga. In jail. Okay then. You know what I'm saying? Like he was reached out to when I was in. And when I got out, boom. You know what I'm saying? Nigga wanted to fuck with me and do some music. And then, then for the people that wanna follow you, let them know how can they follow you too. Oh, you can follow me on um Instagram or Facebook, two three nine Frank Lenny. You know what I'm saying? And and, and and I ain't gonna say can we can, you might give us a legendary freestyle or you duck dog today? Nah, <laughs> I don't freestyle, bro. Uh, can you give us some? That's like a little. Yeah, little I don't. I don't, I don't, don't got me a freestyle. That can be some bar we done wrote down. We I don't, don't freestyle, freestyle we, like you know what I'm saying. Some, like you know, when some when I started shit, right? writing, I felt like freestyling didn't make sense to me. Uh. You know what I'm saying? It was like it just made more sense when I sat down and put thought to it and wrote it down. And um, no, I don't. Feel I've been drinking. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm trying to try, y'all. Y'all can't. Nah, but I got. I just dropped some singles. You know what I'm saying? Um, recently, grounded, blessings. Mm -hmm. Um, what is this other one? Um, man, I dropped some in the summer, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> and the video. Like, so what you pushing yeah. right now? What what's the main things you need to be going to check out? I'm right like, um. Right now, I'm I'm getting ready to drop another uh, single, um, "Draw a Line in the Sand," but it's supposed to be dropped, but it got flagged on um, iTunes or whatever because of, uh, the graphics. You know what I'm saying? It was a I used the definition on there, mm -hmm. and they have copyrights on it, so I'm waiting yeah. on them. Yeah, okay, okay. But um, like man, I got music, bro. Right now, honestly, I'm trying to figure out different ways to promote and market the music. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said. This new social media game is new mm -hmm. for artists like me. So we have to figure out how to 
tap into that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because probably people looking for y'all can't even find y'all. Right. Mm-hmm. So you know, like younger artists, they this is their way. Mm-hmm. So they know how to. You know what I'm saying? So like niggas like me, we have to find ways to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas not used to being on camera mm-hmm. and. You know what I'm saying? Like like all that type of shit. We used to just in the streets and okay, city yeah. to city, passing these shits out, yeah. boom, 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 the hood to hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's, it, it, it's, it, you know, it's a new uh, journey for a nigga, like, you know what I'm saying, to figure out how to, you know what I'm saying, get into this new age. You know what I'm saying? Now, I got my core fan base that going to always Fact. be there. You know what I'm saying? Now, along the way, I know I can pick up some new fans or whatever, you know, younger or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? It's just this whole social media thing. Shit, I need to figure it out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, hey, if anybody out there that no, want to help Lenny, boy. Nigga, <laughs> no Lenny right there need to be helping now. Yeah, what's well, up? He, he from old sports. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying? What position he play, though? He play uh, running back in free safety. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you looking out for low Lenny now. You know, so. And then to that, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I done got a little older, so a lot of. Things in life that I didn't do with my other kids, mm-hmm. I was starting to get to do with my youngest son. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like four time dad with my son. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. And how did I feel though being switching up? Oh, that's love. Like, like my son didn't even know that uh, shit. I almost wouldn't even just be out to see him. You know what I'm saying? His mom was pregnant with him mm-hmm. when I was going through all that. So he was born and I was in, you know, and then, you know, like I say, like the things I'm doing with him, I ain't get to do, you know what I'm saying, with, with my other kid. So I'm enjoying that too, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That shit a blessing, bro. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I take my son to school every day. Okay, then. I'm, at, I'm the only parent at high school football practice, <laughs> like it's youth football. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, there's a lot of new things that's exciting me okay, outside man. of, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Doing music. So a lot of people be like, oh, why ain't you dropping no music? Nigga live too. Okay, You <laughs> know what I'm saying? They gotta so live you feel too. Like that you music feel me? Away? <laughs> yeah. The music take away from the regular life? Nah, like if, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you allow it to. Yeah. But sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you're gonna do that and then fuck everything else. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, my dream, I chased it. Mm-hmm. For years and years and years, you know what I'm saying? Why would I neglect him though? Here, right. you know what I'm saying? Now I'm still chasing it because it's it's going it's going always come in. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This shit with my son, you feel me? Okay, man. You know, like his mom don't live here. She in South Carolina, mm-hmm. so like he's the baby. Like you know how hard it was to <laughs> convince her to. Let, let him let stay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just trying to get him what I ain't have. Right. Feel me? Man, you already know, man. What else you want to let him know before we get out of here? Because I want to cuff you too long. You been here by 40 minutes. <laughs> boy. Hey, man. Lenny boy, ain't nothing changed. It's still, it's still everything. You know what I'm saying? We dropping this new shit real soon. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to my boy Glee. Okay, then. In the Glee game. Tip and Toe Podcast. Y'all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For having me. Man, I had to, What you mean? We got to bring the legend. <laughs> what you mean? They been asking for you. <laughs> man, you already know. One of my biggest ones to write. We still, what you mean? Number four. I ain't going to name the other. You know what I mean? Oh, they, hey. You whatever know, number. I'm, I'm on there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, you, you might go up. You ain't going down, goddamn. I'm on there. They been slipping. They been slipping out there. That's all it is. Okay, I'm yeah. on there. And how you feel, though, dog? When you feel me? Like, you be shot when. The younger crowd be knowing your song too sometimes? That, yeah. And, but it, it just shows how much of an impact a nigga was on whoever they growed up around. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because a lot of young cats, like, heard it from, you know what I'm saying? They daddies or they uncles mm-hmm. or big brothers, or, you know what I'm saying? Was playing it like that. And, like, it's crazy because, like, even, um, like, my manager used to manage Raw Way, right? Mm-hmm. And me and Rod was talking one time, and his daddy, the biggest mm-hmm. Frank Lennon fan, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, that's how he even, you know what I'm saying, knew of a nigga. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I man. I feel all that shit, though. 
Man, I just take it what it is, bro. Okay, like, it's love. Okay, it's all love. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And for the people know that, what, what you want to tell the little kids, dog? Because no one even know been out here from this music to the street stuff. They don't know most of the people you probably done raised with not even here or locked up. But how, what can you tell the little kids, though, dog? Listen, man, you know what I'm saying? Look, it's... This... It's, 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 it's one, you know, a two-way street, man, being in the street. You know what I'm saying? Either jail or hell. You feel me? Figure out what it is you trying to do in life early and chase it. And don't let nobody stop you from chasing it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Facts, my nigga. Tip and toe podcast. We let it boy. Let Trust. it boy. We had to bring them. Y'all. Three, nine, what it do? Y'all know what time it is. Till next time, Tip and toe podcast. Y'all know what it is. Okay, then. Please. Yeah.